All right, gonna do yet another video on the Luciferian BLM Insanity, the, the Luciferian BLM Antifa Insanity that's going on in response to the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. And just notice how they completely try to absolve themselves of any guilt while they're burning down cities and rioting. You know, they're acting like it was just a protest. Watch how they try to absolve themselves of any guilt and how they just ignore the plain facts and just essentially don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. That's the problem with BLM and Antifa. And I'm not saying all African Americans are like that, but I'm saying a lot of African Americans who are into gangs and that kind of stuff into the, into this BLM movement don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. They want to run up and attack you and hit you over the head with a skateboard and burn down your city. And if you charge them, they'll accuse you of being a white supremacist. It's ridiculous. We're going to show this video, some videos of these protests here, of the just the absolute insanity that goes on. Uh, at these BLM protests, uh, just completely ignoring the facts, completely ignoring the reality of what happened, and just painting themselves as, as the victim, just victim playing as they always do. Here's the first video I'm going to show. Oh, and just a bit of a heads up too, they're calling for a socialist communist revolution, because BLM, not only are they Luciferian and Jesuit, they're also communist and socialist too. Their founders were into witchcraft, and their founders were also lesbians too, and they were full-on communists and socialists and Marxists. The satanic idea, ideology of socialism and communism is very prevalent within Black Lives Matter and the Luciferian Antifa Satanists. Uh, a Black Lives Matter protest. Uh, it wasn't a protest, it was a riot. Okay, let me show you something right here. You call this a protest? Look at all this. You know what these, are all, know what these all are? Burned cars. You know how they got burned? From the BLM rioters that were running around and burning down places and burning down stores. These are all the cars they burnt. Okay? Look at this. K uh, Kenosha unrest causes $2 million, $2 million in damages to city property. Look at this. Two million dollars of city property damage. You call that a protest? Look at this. This is not a protest. This is a riot. This is criminal. This is anarchy. The, you, this is not a protest. But you see how they're trying to absolve themselves of any kind of guilt? I mean, look at this. Fire, you know. But this is a protest? They don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. They want to burn down your city, burn down your business, and if you dare, if you dare commit the crime of defending yourself, you're automatically a white supremacist killer. And by the way, he didn't go there to kill people. He went there to actually help people who were who needed medical help and also guard businesses, and from you people, by the way. He went to guard businesses from you people who were running them down and burning them down and destroying them and setting them on fire, and also helping people that got hurt too by you BLM Satanist thugs. Because you conjure up this devilish satanic spirit and you just run around and destroy things like a bunch of Luciferian lunatics. A bunch of Illuminati Jesuit Luciferian lunatics. And by the way, there are some Jesuit uh, connections to the BLM. There's also some Jehovah's Witness connections to BLM too. And I might bring that out in a future video showing the Jesuit and Jehovah's Witness connections to BLM as well as the witchcraft they're into as well. Because this is a satanic movement. They're connected to the Jehovah's Witnesses and to witchcraft and to the Jesuit Luciferian order. Let's get right back to the video, but side issue, I'll, be, I'll bring it out in a future video. And he went in to slaughter people, and he did. And now what we just saw with this verdict that came down, it actually gave the fascists and these white supremacists a green light to murder. To murder... You see, here's the thing, if you don't agree with them, you're automatically a fascist. You're automatically a white supremacist. If you don't agree, if you don't, if you say, hey, don't burn down my city, don't burn down my business, if you do, I'm going to defend myself, you're automatically a white supremacist. That's the narrative. They want to control the narrative and paint you out as some kind of evil white supremacist if you just simply defend yourself. And by the way, I'm not a white supremacist, but I am a white nationalist. I do believe in white nationalism. I do believe that white nations should stay white, okay? Black nations should stay black. Arab nations should stay Arab, Persian nations should stay Persian, Afghan nations should stay Afghan, etc, etc, etc. Why? Because that's the way God intended it in Genesis chapter 10, the whole chapter. Just read Genesis chapter 10, that's the way God intended it, okay? God does not want racial racial integration. Racial integration and miscegenation are sins, are very, very wicked sins in the eyes of God. So I am a white nationalist, but I'm not a white supremacist. I thought I'd just point that out. But these 
uh, Luciferian uh, witches, these Luciferian witches and BLM and Antifa just accuse you of being a white supremacist if you dare to stand up to their satanic frenzy they get themselves into while they're just burning down your store. Protesters. I wasn't surprised. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of these sort of cases uh, involving white supremacy. And, you know, I, I was I was furious, but, you know, I can't say I was surprised. This capitalistic system that we are living in is doomed! It's killing all of us! Uh, I feel like these kind of verdicts are going to kind of remain the same. I don't think we're going to get any... You know what I find kind of funny? How, how they rip on capitalism. You know, I, I'm not, like, you know, all for capitalism. I, th I see the, the problems with the capitalism. But it's funny how all the, how the BLM, one of the BLM founders literally bought, like, this big, huge million-dollar mansion because she's, like, stinking wealthy. Um... How do they get wealthy? These people get wealthy off capitalism, but yet they blame capitalism for everything. And again, I'm not a capitalist. I see, you know, there are problems with capitalism, sure. But just the hypocrisy of BLM and Antifa is crazy. Continuing. Sort of real justice anytime soon, which is why it's important that we all, you know, organize and start to think about reform in a serious matter. Armed vigilantes, when they go out and and threaten people, they, they're doing that to actually make people afraid. Oh, armed vigilantes, you mean like the people who pointed the gun at Kyle Rittenhouse and threatened to shoot him? You mean like the people who hit him over the head with a skateboard? You mean like the people that were chasing after him saying, let's get him? Yeah, armed vigilantes. Yeah, like you people. Insanity. Luciferian, liberal, Jesuit insanity. Today's vert, it, it blew my absolute mind. It, it destroyed my very faith well not that i had much faith in the justice system to begin with but whatever whatever inkling was left it's gone absolutely gone angry we're tired of it we want this system to the system works but this is the way the system actually works it protects white supremacists like kyle rittenhouse and puts away everybody and puts away everybody else whoever the system uh doesn't feel is 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 worth it so it's not going to change anything it this system was not built for you, I promise you. They can throw you away in five minutes and forget about you. Look at the, the struggles that we see today. This you know, instead of accepting responsibility for their actions, they just want to blame the system. They want to blame everyone else. They want to blame the white man. They want to blame capitalism. How about you just accept responsibility for your actions? And how about you just realize that maybe you shouldn't go around rioting and burning down stores? And then people might not actually shoot you in self-defense. There's an idea for you. How about don't burn down cities? How about don't run around and just attack people and burn down their stores? How about you don't do that and maybe you won't get attacked in self-defense? There's an idea for you. That may be too real for you to take, but you can like it or lump it. I don't care if you like it or not. That's the blunt and brutal reality. Don't, don't be a Luciferian lunatic and maybe stuff like that won't happen to you. Ridiculous. Just never, never accepting responsibility. No guilt and shame on them. It's always the, it's always everyone else's fault except for their own. Imperative. What I heard of this verdict, he got a, not one single fucking uh, conviction. And of course, back to the usual filthy language these BLM Antifa devils use. Even though the, the, the lesser charges, he didn't get one fucking fucking verdict. Not one. Yeah, these BLM Antifa devils love to just use filthy profanity all the time. Just typical of them. But here's the next video I'm going to show where actually they rioted. You know, what a surprise. Again, I wonder if they're going to call this a peaceful protest as well. Let's see this. Oh, and just heads up with more filthy profanity here. Because again, these BLM Antifa devils just can't control their filthy tongues, so they just want to use all the filthy language they want to use. Typical of them. Bunch of lost, unsaved, hellbound Satanists. Luciferian devils. And you wonder why people shoot at you in self-defense when you're doing crap like that? You wonder why, don't you? Huh? You do stuff like that, guess what? People are gonna are gonna shoot at you in self-defense. Maybe don't act like a marauding animal, and maybe stuff like that won't happen to you.
Look, look, look at they've just destroyed windows and everything. They've destroyed windows. So you're calling that a protest. It's not a protest. It's a riot of a bunch of devil-filled witches and Luciferians running around just destroying everything and acting like a bunch of anarchist devils. You know, that may be too real, but that's the blunt and brutal reality. Okay. Just wanted to show you guys that. Just the wickedness and Satanism from these BLM Luciferian rioters who just think they can just just accept no responsibility for their actions, blame everybody else but themselves. See, that's the thing. Of, that's what a little child does. A little child just blames everybody else but himself. Okay? These BLM people, they're basically ch children in men's bodies. That simple. So I just want to show you guys that. Don't, don't buy into the false media narrative. And again, I'm not part of the false left-right paradigm. I understand there's problems with the, with, with the right-wing and left-wing, okay? I'm not right-wing and I'm not left-wing. I'm just a Bible-believing Christian, okay? But in this case, the left-wing BLM Antifa anarchists are the ones that are in the wrong here. Plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.